639 skin care experts remind people this time of year to stock up on sunscreen. But with so many options, it can be overwhelming to know which offers the best protection for the best price. Consumer investigator Kristen Byrne shows us what to look for. Pamela Thompson loves catching some sun during her lunch break and knows the importance of using sunscreen. I do agree that it is very, very effective and needs to be mm -hmm. put on. Dahana Tenenfeld tries to use the strongest sunscreen she can find. Probably like maybe 45 copper tone. Dermatologist Melissa Pilliang says before you buy any sunscreen brand, check the label for three things. The sunscreen should be at least SPF 30. Look for broad spectrum, which means it protects against UVA and UVB rays. And make sure it's water resistant or waterproof. That means it's stickier to your skin and it will stay on longer if you get wet in the pool, in the ocean, or if you're sweaty. She says don't worry about the spray versus the lotion. Coverage is the most important here. Whichever one you will put on your skin is the one to get. And then there's the cost. Sunscreens can range from five or six bucks all the way to 30, even $40. In our tests over the years, we haven't found any connection really between price and protection. Trisha Calvo is with Consumer Reports, which tests dozens of sun protection products. She says price is not an indicator of how well a product performs. Take Walmart's Equate Ultra Sunscreen SPF 50. It's one of the highest performing lotions, but only costs about five bucks. If you're more inclined to buy natural sunscreen, Trisha says while they're better for the environment, they're not always better when it comes to protecting your skin. In our tests, we've never found a mineral based sunscreen that performs well enough to make the top of our ratings. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne. Kristen, thank you. And if you have a story you want Kristen to look into, you can email her at kristen.burn at tmj4.com. Kristen.byrne at tmj4.com.